Hello there. In this short movie, we're going to look at Google Drive on the iPad. Let's get started. First thing, you want to go ahead and make sure that you have downloaded the Google Drive app. That's this one right here that has, looks like a little triangle. When you tap to log in, you're going to tap the sign in, and this is where you want to continue to log in and you want to log in with your Hilliard Google account. That email address is your first name, underscore last name, at hilliardschools.org. If you are a student who will be logging in, it's your first name, dot, last name, at hilliardschools.org. Once you type in your email address, then you're going to be taken to the Google Apps for Education splash page for your Hilliard credentials. As an employee, you're going to enter in your username, that's your last name and your first two initials, and then your super secret password. If you were a student or if you were helping students log in, their username is their student ID or their lunch number, and then their super secret password. Once you have your username and password entered in, let's go ahead and tap log in. Once we're logged in, we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and let's look at some of our menu options. Up at the top here to the left, we have a search bar that you can type in. So if you're looking for specific documents, you can type and search there. If you tap the three line menu bar, this opens up a little drawer and you'll notice that you can view recent documents, starred items, so things that are like your favorites, what documents you have offline, the trash, any notifications that you might have, settings for the app, as well as help and feedback to Google, and then you can also look at your storage. Along the bottom, you have another set of tools in Google Drive. At your privy, you have access to priority. Priority looks at um, items that you have recently used as well as the frequency and it does a little um, algorithm calculation and it populates up with what is there. You'll look at the bottom and you'll see that there are three dots here. This is called workspaces. Workspaces is similar to if you've ever used a web browser and you have a lot of tabs open. Um, this is where you can kind of keep all those tabs, but they're all in the Google world, um, open. So if you were working on a project and you needed to have access to, um, let's say, um, some spreadsheets in a doc all at the same time, you could create a workspace that had access to those. If I tap view a workspace, I can see that I have a workspace that has those existing ones there. If I want to create a new workspace, I come down here to the bottom to the plus sign. And when I tap that, I can create a new workspace. So I can just call it maybe new workspace for right now. And when I tap to create that workspace, you'll notice that right away it's asking what files do you want to add to it? And I have access to my full uh, My Drive, shared drives, items that are linked to a computer. So if I have a computer that's linked to my Google Drive, I have access to those files as well, as well as things that have been shared with me or my starred items. When I tap My Drive, I can simply go in once it loads all of my resources, I can grab what I need and pull in what it is I'm looking for. So if I need it, pictures, I can pull them in. If I want to add, continue to add more files, I can continue to go in and grab what it is that I need. and that is Workspaces. And I just simply tap the back button to exit out. Um, what's nice is that you can carry those workspaces with you wherever you go since it is cloud uh, based and you can easily pull up a project and get going and working a little bit faster and not having to search for all those, um, all of those matching documents that you need and resources. Next up on the bottom, you'll see two heads. That button is the shared drive, so things that have been shared with you. And you can go through and also search your shared drive. So if you go up to the top, you can search your shared drive as well. And then you can also sort by the share date if you need to, or by name, last modified, and last modified by me, or last opened by me as well. The last item, down at the bottom is the folder. This is your files. Uh, these are all the files that you have in your My Drives 
things that you own or things that you have also placed into your my drive um, when you are looking at it you can look at it in a thumbnail view like this or if you tap this little button over here looks like a list it'll change your view from thumb thumbnail view to a list view we're at the top you're going to see a little picture if you've um, created a profile picture or it might have your initials there at the top when you tap that little icon there it's going to show you information about your account you can manage your google account there or if you want to sign out maybe you're sharing an ipad with somebody um, you can manage your account on this device or if you need to add another google account this is where you can also add another google account so if you need to sign out you say manage on this device or if you need to add and sign in to another google Google account you can do that here the last button um, that is available here within the drive is the plus sign this plus sign over here is the creation button when you tap the creation button it gives you access to creating a new folder uploading files from your existing iPad you can also use your camera that's built into your iPad to create something and record it live and it'll instantly put it in there to your Google Drive. You can also tap the create button to create a new Google, Google Doc, a new Google Sheets, or a new Google Slide. So let's go ahead and get started and tap a new folder. When you tap a new folder, I'm gonna just title it new folder number one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the word create. And right away, I can see that it has been created. Here it is. Um, and I can tap new folder one, I can go inside, lo and behold, there's nothing in there because I just created it. If I want to go in and add maybe a new doc, I can tap the plus sign right away and then tap a Google doc and get in there and start typing. Um, if I want to share my folder, I can tap the more dots. So those are located right here in the top right corner. And when I tap those three more options uh, the three dots there that give me more options I can tap share this is where I can then share that folder um, and I can allow them to if I tap right here where the pencil is I can tap them to be an editor of my folder or I can allow them to be a viewer of the folder so if I don't want someone messing with my documents in there I just want them to only have um, access to look then I would select view only, the viewer mode. I can type in their name. When you are sharing with somebody within Hilliard, you begin by typing in their name. And for an adult, if it's a staff member, it's their first name underscore last name at hilliardschools.org. So very similar to how you logged in. If I'm sharing with a student, um, you want to make sure that when you are typing in their name, that you do their full name, dot, then their last name. Um, students have a dot there, a period in between their first and last name, and staff members have the underscore. Once you have that set, then you can go ahead and select up here the little paper airplane, and it will now share that folder with them. Let's make a new doc, here we go. So I'm gonna tap Google Docs. Once I'm inside, I need to instantly title it. So I'm gonna call it new doc. And I'm gonna tap the word create. Once inside, I am now in a basic word processor. This now ends the tutorial for Google Drive. Stay tuned for the next tutorial about Google Docs.